Hi, this is Lisa and Kate, and we're here with another tip of the week. So sometimes when we're working on projects with clients, all we get from them is a PDF when what we'd really like is a DWG. Kate, can you show us a little bit about what we can do with PDFs now? Yeah, you can actually do way more with PDFs in AutoCAD LT 2010 than you used to be able to. For example, when I start the attach command from the ribbon, I have the option to choose a PDF to use as an underlay. When I click open, I get a couple different options. I can choose which page of the PDF I want to underlay. Maybe it's got more than one page. You can also set the path and the scale and the insertion point, just like you can with any other underlay. So when I click OK, there it is. There's my PDF file. Now, what if I want to start drawing some geometry on top of that? You can do that, too. If I go back to the Home tab and start the Measure command, I can use object snaps to select certain points on the PDF to pull off information like distance or to draw new geometry. So there it is, all my information straight from the PDF file. So that's really great because what you can do is really start to do some accurate drawing on top of that PDF. For more tips like this, be sure to check back with us weekly at this site.